Okay. So, I wasn't even going to do this, but my friend told me how good this E3 Nintendo response was and knew there were some things that here I'd like. So, let's get into another one. Let's do this one for Nintendo. Switch stuff, obviously. Very much doubt they didn't want to do a console. Remember, you no reason to. Alright, so what are you starting off with? Okay. Uh. Oh, it's a Smash character. Okay. Who we getting? Um. Ooh, Meta Knight. God dang, man. This is from the Sword of Light where people have their evil versions. Uh, who could it be? I don't think that. Please don't be another Fire Emblem character. Please don't be another Fire Emblem character. Or if it is, please make it something other than a sword user. Please? Please? Oh god, was that a sword? Oh, it's another sword user! Ugh, what Fire Emblem character is this? It's not Fire Emblem music. Oh, it's Dragon Quest! Okay, that's neat. Who are the green card? Yeah. But he's another, another sword user. I, this kit looks almost identical from what I see. That's just that's just a Link's forward tilt. This this guy just looks like Robin all over again. Ooh, getting bodied. Oof. Are they gonna show someone other sore uh Dragon Quest character? Are we getting two characters or what? Oof, you're screwed, buddy. Hey, it's, it's the guy from was that eight? Don't know which that one that one is. I wanna say that's eight, and I wanna say that's maybe four or five. I'm not all that invested. Hey, that's the original Dragon Quest main character though. Dragon Quest is one of those series that I know is good, but I just never played it over Final Fantasy. I might try to pick it up one day. And as you know, all I think this is probably the closer we get to Goku in this game, because remember, Akira Toriyama worked on all the designs for Dragon Quest. We've seen all these things before. Like... Kamikaze. So what, does each character have like certain own special moves maybe? That's what it seems like. Hey, then we got all the main characters all attacking together. It's like Mega Man's attack. Only it's a slash. Eh. I just it's just another sword user though. We have so many. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. I mean, It'll probably be at least decent to okay, but I'm not all that hyped for it. I don't fully care about another sword user. It... No, Dragon Quest stuff on is good. Especially since I hear that Dragon Quest XI is apparently really good and kind of hilarious. Do the Luminari. The hero of light who will protect the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my hypes. <laughs> Please tell me it gets better from here. Experience the expanded storyline. Oh, so it's gonna be like an expanded story. Yeah, you can mount more monsters. All right. Hey, it's slime. Speed through battles. Oh, they added a speed up addition or speed up option. Travel. Oh, that's a cool feature. That's neat. Hmm. Definitive edition. Alright, so for people who like Dragon Quest, more Dragon Quest, I guess. And I guess people who do like Dragon Quest can now play them on the Smash game, so. Alright, I suppose. Hello everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. In this Nintendo Direct for E3 2019, we'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> because he's named Bowser. <laughs> 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 
Got to love the silliness. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. There's been a bit of a mix up. You're not the right Bowser. Bowser, you look good in a tie though. But I'm the right Bowser for this presentation. All right, Bowser, you're you're living up to Reggie's like meme levels. That's pretty good. You you got it, fam. You got it, fam. Don't worry, everyone knows you're still a good no, no. This way. <laughs> Don't worry, Bowser. Everyone knows you're still a good dad though, so that's that's fine. That's all that people care about. You're you're a great dad. Are you related? No, but we get that a lot. What are the odds that his name's literally Bowser though? Come on. Well, let's get back to it. Alright, let me skip forward just a little bit. Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Remake of Luigi's Mansion? For the Switch? Oh wait. No. Luigi's invited to a oh, cool. No, it's just a, a, a new game. Neat. Oh, oh he has a pet yeah. ghost dog. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Read one page, go to sleep. Luigi's mansion three. This hotel is much more than meets the eye. For not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts after all. And they're Are those like maids or ghost maids? G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and other new features as well. Hmm, okay. First, the slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. It helps to get other ghosts in on the action. Next, the suction shot. Find the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string, and you can destroy furniture and more. It's effective against certain ghost types, too. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to hang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. Powerful air pressure released will blow away ghosts, and it's perfect for when you need a little air. Why can't you just jump? You're Luigi. You're literally one of the jump I brothers. Whatever. The Maybe he's too scared. Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. Change between Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he okay, so it's the co-op option. Co-op partner. Sweet. Proceed with caution. I like the go-op. Luigi and water definitely don't mix. <laughs> Now, please direct your attention to the Scare Scraper. Oh, so we have a real co-op option as well. It also houses a few eight players for local or online co-op gameplay. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads. And face any challenges the tower throws at you together. Looking good so far. Okay. Okay, this I'm far more hyped for this than I was for the announcement of another sword user in Smash. He's got a gun! What will befall our missing oh great, now they're all trapped in paintings. No pressure, Luigi. It's not even a mansion though anymore. It's not the hotel. So is he gonna own a hotel as well? <laughs> is Luigi gonna be part of the like the point zero one percent? The latest game in a series that I personally love, and we can look forward to seeing some of the new gameplay elements that await in this strange hotel as we dive deeper into this title on Nintendo Treehouse live at E3 2019. We'll be streaming content some you've never seen before right from the show floor, including live. Alright, let's skip ahead a little bit. Our treehouse staff. Come on. Give me to the actual things that I care about. Oh, oh, here we go. Have a look. Oh, that snap was a little bit off. What is this? Dark crystal? Slept too long. Far too long. 
Yeah, it is Dark Crystal. Uh, I'm gonna pause it to explain this. So, um, Dark Crystal is a movie uh, based on puppetry. It had this really. There was a cart, uh, robot chicken skit with the uh, T Pain voicing the the main character. Funnily enough, I haven't seen Dark Crystal, but apparently there's been a lot of hype and build up for this movie for some people some from people like ahead of a generation for me like people in their 30s and 40s really like this movie and there's always been like a clamoring for it and i think it's actually getting a sequel on netflix soon so there's that and um so i guess we're just getting a dark crystal video game all right is this a tactics game is this a tactics game? This is a tactics game. <laughs> this is Dark Crystal tactics game. <laughs> Bro, that man just fell down. It doesn't look all that good to see, though. It looks like like a like baby's first. Tactics game or something like it looks like a something that you see a college student make I guess we're getting a tactics game for dark crystal, okay Fine I suppose Hey New Legend of Zelda wait is it a new Legend of Zelda Or is this a remake? Is this Seasons? Is this Link's Awakening? Cute art style, though. Really cute art style. Oh, that's adorable. This is... Yup, yup. Koho Lint. This is... This is uh, Link's Awakening. So we're finally getting a proper remake of this game for uh, Switch. This game from what? the 90s I remember playing this game on the Game Boy and I remember there was this stupidly long uh, quest train of trading that you needed to do to get all the stuff like oh alright I'm gonna trade you this this camera so that you can get give me this bottle and it just got really really long and it was a an entire quest line long thing yeah Legend of Zelda yep see called it Link's Awakening okay Guess we're just getting more remakes. I'm fine with this. That's a new generation play Link's Awakening. Hey, Dampy. Dampy is a grave keeper, grave tender. He appears in a lot of uh Oh, you can make your own dungeons. That's cool. Yeah, Dampy is the grave keeper. He appears in a lot of the Legend of Zelda games. Okay, so it's just so it's like a Mario Maker kind of thing in game, and I'm really liking the art style. Link's looks adorable. Okay, so we're getting Link's Awakening, a remake of Link's Awakening. Now, if only we can get another three. Square Enix, Crystal Chronicles. Secret of Mana. Oh, okay, Secret of Mana. We're getting a proper... We're getting another... Oh, the remake... Secret of Mana 2 is coming to... <gasps> oh! I thought it was Secret of Mana 2 is coming to, to the Switch. No. We are finally getting Sega Nintendo 3. Oh, my God. We are finally getting this game. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Dang, Duran, you work out. You looking good, man. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, we're finally getting it. And it looks so good. Chart looks adorable. Oh, it looks so good. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, there's actual active dodging, and the attacks still go while you're move. Dude, this was exactly what I was talking about. Oh my god. 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 Oh, look at that art. Dude. Okay, it's called Trials of Mana. Oh my god, we're finally getting it, and it looks amazing. Okay, so just from let's go back a little bit, right? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, let's look at the combat. Where is it? Okay, so first off, combat looks a lot more active. Like, you can actually be proper dodging and stuff. I like that already. And Kevin's actually doing, like, martial arts attacks. And he's... And he, okay. Okay, and Tex. Tex still or work the same for the most... Actually, no. They improved him because Whirlwind Spear is actually her level 1 tech. So now they have certain animations. But look, look, look here. So you actually can actually actively dodge. So now you can avoid damage if you're good. And look here. He's still attacking... So, uh, Duran's still attacking while she's casting. So now you have the active combat I was talking about. Oh my god. All I can hope is that it's better balanced this time around. Please be better balanced. Please be better balanced. Ooh. Nice. Okay, I can see exactly why he wanted me to watch this. Oh, okay. Are we getting all... We're not getting all three in that art style, right? No, 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 no. We're just getting, uh... Okay, we're just getting um, eShop releases, which is still cool by me. Oh, nice! We're getting the actual game finally coming to America. It only took 26 years? Jeez. I can see why he wanted me to watch this now, though. Uh... What's this? Is that girl? Yeah, it's girl. Oh, we're getting Witcher 3 on the Switch? You know what that means, boys. He can be in Smash now. Geralt, Geralt confirmed for Smash. And before you say, oh, he's too humanoid. Solid Snake. But it's too mature. Bayonetta? to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today like a class reunion you will hey that's um ben dyskin Haida, number one number two young joseph we fought here as classmates as big class reunions go this one's got to be the worst in history what should we do teachers kill every last one of them fire emblem Hey, we're all friends, and we're all going to be best of friends for life. In oh, yeah, it's the next Fire Emblem. I don't really care, to be honest. So this next Fire Emblem is like, oh, yeah, we're all friends and stuff, but then we all are split, are split separate ways, so some people go down a darker path or what they think is a good path and stuff like that. Whatever. I don't care about this. It's it's Fire Emblem. They're going to add waifu mechanics and stuff. Eh, what, I don't really care. With the system. Eh, okay, more talking. Perfect, right? What's the Fatal Frame? Fatal Frame on the Switch would be cool. Why are these... What's with these teenagers always going into abandoned houses? Holy shit, you guys are dumb. Stop this. Yeah, that's what, cause that's what I told her to do. Go into abandoned houses to play Fatal Frame? Oh! Oh, okay. A remake for the Switch. That's fine. Let a new generation feel the original original parts of the Switch, or original parts of Resident Evil. The things that created the... Let them get used to the tank controls that we had to deal with as kids. Or in my case, that I didn't want to deal with and I hid under a table holding my Barney while my brothers played it and scared the crap out of me because I was scared crapless. But yeah, don't you totally go to haunted, like, abandoned mansions to go play video games? Isn't that totally something normal that millennials do? God, you left the Switch. You, you left the Switch. 
Oh, Resident Evil 5. Sweet. I can play this on the go now. Nice. <laughs> Resident Evil 6. <laughs> yeah, like anyone's going to buy that crap. <laughs> Where's two? Resident Evil 2 and... Oh, well, we can me. Yeah, go back for the Switch, you idiots. Playing a Resident Evil game in a place like that might not be my way to play... Yeah, mine neither. What's next? What's this? That sounds like Travis, it doesn't look like Travis. Looks like things are gonna get weird today. That's okay, that's Travis. That's totally Travis. There's no other person who'd be this nerdy. Are we actually getting a proper no more heroes now? Did the last one do well enough that we get a proper no more heroes? Is that what this means? Please be no more heroes three. Please don't be another side game. Ooh, he has it in his hand like a claw. Okay, yeah, it is Travis. Ooh. Now, is this actual gameplay or just, like, alpha gameplay? Where's the... Sounds kind of weird, or lacking. Nice. Oh, look, Sylvia's back. Don't fall for it this time, Travis. She never slept with you the last time. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. This is Kaiser. He led an elite team of Contra. Contra? Is this Contra? Alright, Forger. Or Forager, sorry. Uh, DC reference for anyone who got it. This looks like a, like a, a modern take on Contra. Over the top gun battles with giant monsters. It's Contra, isn't it? Called it. Oh wait, Konami's making video games again? Come on. Okay, thank God. Ooh. They're bringing back all the uh, original Contras, too. Sweet. Hey, Konami, I'm glad you guys remember you have... You're a video game company. Idiots. Daemon X Machina. I get it. Play on Deus Ex Machina. So is this going to be this current generation's uh, Zone Enders? Look at that uh, Android 16 looking motherfucker. Who made this? Cause this looks like just zone enders. I'm getting major zone enders vibes here. Now that's a bad thing. I'm just saying. It's probably the thing just called it zone. I know if this is made by the same people who made zone enders, I know why they didn't call it zone enders three. Cause I feel like there wasn't enough notice for zone enders one or two. Guys, you like Gundam? Then you'll like this game, basically, or from what I'm noticing right now, anyway. Oh, this is so Gundamish. Daemon X Machina. First studio. Marvelous. Panzer Dragoon? So this game came out on if this if this is Panzer Dragoon. This game came out on um 
what's it called? Uh, thing. What's that thing called? Uh, the Sega. Yeah, the Sega Saturn. The Sega's last uh, official console. Again, if this is Panzer Dragoon, I'm, but I'm getting some Panzer Dragoon feels. Let me skip ahead and see. Is it Panzer Dragoon? Yep, Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, this is one one of the last titles on the, or one of the first titles on the Sega Saturn, which failed. But yeah, it was a fun twin stick shooter. Or on on rail shooter, sorry. Twin stick shooter is Contra. This is on rail. Konnichiwa. Hello, I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Sorry, I don't really care about you. Nothing personal. I want to see all the games are coming out. New Pokemon stuff. I've already seen way too much fan art of this stuff, but I'm glad that Nintendo's basically saying, "Okay, we know that w what our fan base wants. We know how our fan base is mostly adults now. Fine, we'll just make them. We'll just make them pretty, make them buff, make them sexual." By the way, in these games, you can use certain functions of the Pokeball Plus accessory, allowing you to take a Pokemon from one of these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. I mean, it's already been a thing with you the Pokemon Walker. You use the device as a game controller, but if you spend some quality time with a favorite Pokemon of yours, then something good might happen. Fun fact, apparently the Pokemon the Walker... Wait a second. This year's E3. Fun fact about the Pokemon Walker, apparently when it was, uh first brought up it was the most accurate to the t walker or like walk tracker compared to any other uh uh tracker at the time can play pokemon sword and pokemon shield for the first time anywhere in the world in this gameplay demo you can challenge one of the gyms yo ho ho she can get it type gym leader nessa will be there waiting for you yeah, they know. They know. They know exactly what they're doing. They, I think they've been like slowly amping up the sexual like. <sighs> How do I describe it? Okay, good to know that's a water type Pokemon though. They've been making them more sexy over the years. Stay tuned for live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on Nintendo Treehouse Live. And now I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. That slap snap was more on point compared to the last one. What is this? Cyberpunk 2077? No, it's this is too anime. Look at this Hank Pym looking motherfucker. Waiting for you. As you know, Earth is currently under extra dimensional Chimeras. Like the ones you've just seen for the first time. At this rate. Ooh, that guy got snatched. Oh. Oh, bye. So it's Pokemon, but with slave labor. Got it. With actual slave labor. Got it. In an action fighter game? Is this made by Platinum? I feel like this is something that Platinum would have a hand in with, with this kind of fighting style. I'm getting some nearer vibes from it. Is that also Ben Dyskin? Sounds like it. Or maybe I should say a curse. We can't turn back now. I gotta know the whole truth. He's still alive out there. I know he is. Oh, Astral Train. Okay. I've heard a little bit about this. August 30th, 2019. Called it. Called it. Um, let's talk about that for a second. So, Platinum to make another game, which means that combat's gonna be amazing, period. Or at least good to fun. The story might suck, though, which is a shame. It's kind of like hit and miss with Platinum nowadays. 
where you can always expect at least good or fun combat for the most part, and then just kind of meh everything else. Unless it's the A team. I hope it's the A team making this. I'm um, guessing the story right now. Coming here, it could turn out they're not fully evil. They're kidnapping and taking trying to take over the world for their own reasons to stay alive. Probably this one chick finds that out, and the other side also, and the guy you're currently working for finds that out, and is like, oh no, he's actually the evil villain. And this chick that you thought was the evil villain is just trying to help people or trying to help these chimeras not suffer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's been done before. I'm just taking a guess on what the plot line is going to be. Feel free to come back in what three months when I find out when I turn out to be right. Mafia. Ooh, paradox. Mafia. That's a really cool effect, though. Oh, no, it's another twin stick shooter. Oh, it's a it's a mafia simulator. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I mean, it looks uh, okay-ish. I wish you got a little more to get off of. Ultimate Alliance. Please be online call multiplayer. <laughs> Doc Oz looking thick, man. Okay, so I can already tell they're going for a more MCU universe taking of this game as opposed to the actual comic books. Magneto. Yep, he's a good guy. Good to know. Whatever's happening, we can beat it. Keep Miles. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So let's go back a little bit. Wait for it. Uh Whatever's happening, we can beat it. Keep Okay, so these three right here. My, obviously Miles Morales, the chick in the middle is uh the newest Miss Marvel, and the chick all the way on the right is uh Gwen Stace uh Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen. Um, pretty much these are the, like the new vanguard of superheroes. These are pretty much the heroes that have been coming forth to not replace the main heroes, but they've kind of like the next generation almost. They've been a few. There's been a few attempts of this here and there, like Riri, who's not very popular. I haven't read her comics, so I can't tell. There's also been Amadeus Cho, equally not as popular because we're not seeing him here. But Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy, and Miss Marvel here have all been really well taken. In fact, Miss Marvel. In fact, in her, I know I've only read one of her comic books, but she's going on and saying like, I I don't like being called Miss Marvel because it's like, oh my god, I have so much to live up to, man, Miss Marvel. Oh man, you you got a lot to live up to. Can you guys stop reminding me? And her pair powers, I think she is, she has scroll like powers. I can't remember if she's a scroll herself, but she has the Fantastic Four's powers. I want to say like she has uh her stretchy powers, and I want to say she has each of the Fantastic Four's powers anyway. Don't quote me on that. Miles Morales, you know his story. He's from Earth 66, I want to say, and he is got bitten by a spider. The Spider-Man of the Universe dies. If you, ha in fact, you want to hear a better explanation than me, go watch Into the Spider-Verse. Amazing movie, A-tier movie, amazing. Gwen Stacy, similar thing, but it's basically in her universe. She was the one. Gwen Stacy was the one bitten by the spider. Peter Parker never got bitten and was stayed a nerd, and he actually became the lizard. He died. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So pretty much this is the new Vanguard superheroes. Good to see they're gonna be here. Is that Luke Cage? Yeah, that's Luke Cage. Jump in any time now, Don't know who that is though. Ghost Rider. Yeah, that's Luke Cage. This is straight up Luke Cage. We'll Electra. Hey, Captain Boomerang. I saw Nova, I think. So that's the new guard. Thor looks good with his uh, goatee. Hey, the X Men. I'm glad that you know they're allowing them to be in video games again. The Black Order and Thanos. So Thanos is the big bad of this game. Got it. Looks neat. Looks cool. Content: Marvel Knights, X Men. Oh, so some of this stuff is DLC. Eh, that's kind of a shame. A 
The Legend of Zelda, Zelda Crypt of the Necker Dancer game. Play as Link or Zelda, too. God, I wish I had a switch on me at the moment. Okay, so this game, Crypt of the Necker Dancer. Imagine you took... Basically, yeah. Imagine if you took Legend of Zelda and, D and uh, DDR and put them together. That's basically what the Crypt of the Next to Answer game is, or in this case, Cadence of Hyrule. So what you do is you, you, you can only move to the beat of the song, and certain characters, uh, yeah, you can only move to the beat of the song, right? And each weapon, you have be able to pick up weapons, spells, and, and attacks, but you can only use them to the beat of the song. And obviously some areas are easier than others because you got to follow the beat of the song while doing it. And it's just really, really cool. And once you get into a good rhythm, it just becomes this really awesome experience. But yeah, it's really, uh, yeah, Crypto Nectar Dancer, uh, Legend of Zelda. Good mix. Nice. Uh, good game. Mario, Sonic, uh, Tokyo Olympics. Next one's in Tokyo, right? You know, these games have actually been really fun, so I can't even shit talk. Like, I know these games are literally cash grabs of the Olympics, but they're fun cash grabs, so can I really say anything? Glad they're adding a lot of new sports. <laughs> Did Peach just... Wait a second, no, 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 Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Did Peach just kick Toad uh, Tails in the face and then the Tails drop kick her? Wait a second, yeah! <laughs> she just kicked Tails right in the face! And then, and then Tails countered with like a turn back, uh, with like a forward axe kick. Oh my god, I love this. I'm gonna buy it just to kick her in the face. Bull crap. Uh, actually, to be fair, anyone who's played um, uh, Sonic 2 knows that at the very end when you're chasing Robotnik, he's outrunning you. Gymnastics. Hey Paramount, use that design for Sonic. So far. Idiots. Now for some follow-up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. Please take a look. Better on Sync Snap, good. Your attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway package charter flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island. Nook. Oh! News Animal Crossing. Okay, so... I'm not, like, all that excited about Animal Crossing compared to other people. I've always had a passing interest, but I've always been more of a Harvest Moon, uh, Stardew Valley kind of guy compared to, uh, to, compared to, um, Animal Crossing. But I know people have been clamoring and begging for one for literal years, so it's good that they're getting one. Yeah, I really don't care about this myself, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna skip past this. Bring your grand total amount of sun of. Oh, good to see that Tom Nook's still a fucking mafia, uh, mafia boss. I'm gonna build this thing for you. You're gonna pay me back, but but I don't want this too fucking bad, motherfucker. You're gonna pay me. All right, what's next? Now oh, what's that? Oh, we're just getting a showcase of games now. All right. Let's have a look. Why is this coming to Switch? Why is this coming to Switch? Why is this coming to Switch? I'm confused. Hello? Can Spyro be in the game now? Obviously that makes sense. But Spyro confirmed for Smash? Oh, okay, Nino Kuni for the Switch. That game is really good and really adorable. Play it if you haven't before. Minecraft Dungeons. I haven't played Minecraft in the recent years, so I can't make any comment on this. Oh, yeah. This is what people totally want. Blades. This crappy mobile title. Ugh. Pathetic. 
my friend Pedro, this game is awesome. You need to just check this game out. It's so good. Of course, Doom Eternal. That game's going to be a good. Sinking City. Never heard of it. Is this supposed to be like Bioshock? This is like a Call of Cthulhu Bioshock thing. Wolfenstein. Last two were good, so I'm, this one's probably going to be good too. Hey, Dead by Daylight. Love this game. Fun times. Ooh, Alien Isolation. Hopefully this means we'll get a proper Alien game if this sells well. Crystal Chronicles. I'm hyped for this. I hope the mobile port's good. I hope you can play cross-play with people on mobile. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Never got into this game. Looks okay, though. Looks cute enough. What's that say? Just Dance 2020. Hey, those games are fun. Fight me. Oh, great. Settlers of Catan. Time to make people hate you. Time to make your friends hate you even more. Super Lucky Stay. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Let's talk about this game. I need to talk about this game, right? So this game, right? You know how everyone's saying the Xbox One doesn't have any like real exclusives because it doesn't, and there's barely any reason to get get it over um get it over uh, just a good PC. This game was one of the few exclusives they had on the Xbox, and now it's also on Switch. So there's even less reason to get an Xbox One. Like, goddamn, man. Ooh, Dauntless. I never got into this game. I have I've been playing Monster Hunter. But for everyone I'm saying, telling me, it's a good game. I need to try one of these days. Mario Maker 2, obviously going to be good. New features are nice. <laughs> that giant robot had shoes. Smash again? Are we getting Banjo? Please tell me we're getting banjo. 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 That was a jiggy. Let me make sure though. Let me just confirm. I'm like 90% sure that was a jiggy. That's 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 a jiggy. Are we getting banjo? Are we finally getting banjo? Is banjo finally gonna be on a Nintendo console again? Please be banjo. Please don't mess around. Please be just banjo. <laughs> Move over, K. Roll. It's Banjo. It's Banjo. They're not going to do that. They're not going to bait and switch us like that. Banjo, please come out of fucking sky and smack this dog. It's Banjo, baby. Thank you, Banjo. And it's good to have you two back. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I like how they're all happy. <laughs> See, this is a character I'm interested in. Not another freaking sword and shield user. Can you stop using a Kazooie as a mace? It's kind of messed up, man. Okay, you have a feather-like system. Neat. Gratilda. Oh, that's neat. He did. Glad for you to be back, Banjo. Finally. God damn. Because Microsoft doesn't care about you, clearly. That's how you announce a new character. No one wanted another Swords user. But this, this is good. <laughs> this is good. Ugh, fall. You gotta wait. No one wants... I think more people will prefer Banjo over the freaking uh, hero from Dragon Quest XI. Please stay tuned for more information about DLC in the future.
Yeah, sure. As for Nintendo Switch, we have more games in development beyond what we've shown you today. I'm looking forward to the day we can introduce them to you. Speaking of, before we end this direct, I actually have one more thing to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. What we got? Hey, uh, Zelda shortened her hair. Oh, that rat's dead. That rat's super dead. That looks good with short hair. Why ain't that nightmare fuelish looking? <laughs> yeah, let's go scare the kids before we head this direct, man. Let's just have a zombie stopping its head and looking at him like, sup, motherfuckers. I see you. I want your soul. Bet it's tasty. Yeah. Is this DLC or oh nope, it's a proper sequel. Breath of Wild's getting a sequel. I mean I'm not surprised with how much it's sold. Okay. Is that everything? Yep. Okay. So I think they started funnily enough, I think they started off with the weakest thing, because I don't I do not care about another sword user in smash I, we already have enough there are so many more interesting characters from so many different franchises you have nintendo please no more sword users i get why you're doing it it's easy it's simple it takes far less work but we have so many smash is supposed to be like this celebration of all these interesting and unique concepts and ideas please give them to us um what I'm really hype about is, where is it? Where are you? No. The most, this, this right here is the thing I'm most hype about. Getting a proper remake of this game. I was literally talking about how awesome it would be if we had a modern version of this game in my LP of it. So now we're gonna get it? Perfect. And I think I'm gonna. I am most definitely going to do uh, the other three. When I when I, I will get this game. There's no doubt in my mind. I will get this game. And when I get it, I'm going to do the other three characters that I didn't do before. Oh, I can also see there's actually like indicators of where attacks are gonna be. So there's actually be proper dodging and stuff that you can do. Great, amazing, good, perfect. Yes. Um. What else to talk about? Um. Another Fire Emblem game, which is fine, I guess. I, I've kind of fallen off Fire Emblem myself. Uh, Resident Evil is coming to here. That's fine. I don't think they're going to sell too well, though. We're finally getting No More Heroes 3. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me get closer. We're finally getting No More Heroes 3, which is good because I didn't care for the last one, per se. It just felt... It wasn't a bad game, but it's just not what I wanted. I wanted No More Heroes 3, and instead I just got a bunch of side games. Um, What's this? Oh, we're getting another Contra, so that's cool. Um, we're getting basically what we're getting basically Zone Enders 3. We're getting Panzer Dragoon, even though I don't feel like it's not going to sell well, but it's fine, whatever. We're getting this another Platinum game, which is going to be, you know, the gameplay is at least going to be good or fun or enjoyable. This game I don't care about. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is cool. We're, I'm glad we're getting the, the X-Men again. I'm glad that Marvel finally has control to be able to do this and allow other people to play with the X-Men again. You know, one of the cornerstones of Marvel. Crypto Neck Dancer is getting a uh, a game for Nintendo Switch. It's getting the Legend of Zelda Necker Deck Dancer Dancer. Good, good, good. Cadence of Hyrule. I just want to see the scene one more time. <laughs> Peach kicking tails, tails kicking her back. It's that's so good. Oh, what else? What else? What else? Again, um, Animal Crossing. I personally not a fan of it, or not. I'm not. It's not. I'm not a fan of it. It's just I never got into it compared to Harvest Moon, so I that skipped me. Um, and then just a lot of Switch games. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that I'm very happy. My friend told me to watch this. It was a very good direct. Other than this part of the very start, which I didn't really care for, everything else I'm like either okay, that's good. To 
Holy shit. Thank you. So, yeah. I think that is a good place to let myself go. I hope you liked hearing my ranting about how much I like this direct. Or like how much I liked what I saw here. But for anyone out there watching, thank you. I'm off for right now. Um, yeah, you're also getting another two videos today. So, hooray! I promise... No, I don't. I'm not going to promise that. I'm probably going to do another one. And my friend tells me, oh, yeah, this one's also good. Speaking of which, I need to go watch the Digital Devolver Conference. Because their stuff's always masterful. And I suggest you watch it, too. For anyone out there watching, though, thank you. I'm out. Later!